Hello everybody. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the gastrointestinal absorption simulation using in silico methodology. So we know that uh, biopharmaceutical assessments are essential part of drug development process, and uh, we always try to reduce the time and the money consumed in this uh, assessment. So there is always a uh, search for newer models. Those are in silico models for uh, biopharmaceutical assessments, and uh, such models are normally very complex because the gastrointestinal absorption whole process is uh, affected by numerous factors, and the models so far designed can be classified into uh, quasi equilibrium, steady state, and dynamic models. Out of this, in the dynamic models lots of efforts has been made to design newer dynamic models some of these are uh, here i have mentioned about these five uh, such models and uh, these uh, models are now available as commercial software packages such as gastro plus sim cuip let's see some application of uh, dynamic models so these are certain applications of dynamic models so we can uh, have the uh, calculations or prediction about the fraction of uh, dose absorbed as well as the rate of drug absorption then we can have the uh, plasma concentration time profile etc advantages of in silico simulation tools they require less investment that is about uh, the money as well as the time required and then offer potential to screen virtual compounds in silico methods can be applied to predict oral drug absorption when conventional pk analysis is limited such as when intravenous data are lacking due to poor drug solubility or if the drug shows non-linear kinetic but there are some disadvantages because these models uh, require lots of input parameters to run let us see the principle involved in the design and development of in silico tools so the simulation software package like gastro plus are designed to predict both uh, pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic effects of drugs so this gastro plus software is based on ACAT model that is advanced uh, uh, compartmental absorption and transit model So this SCAT model is again based on the biopharmaceutical classification system and uh, the GI physiology. Linear and nonlinear rate equations are used. SCAT model of the human GI tract consists of nine compartments starting from stomach up to colon. These compartments are further divided into uh, like uh, no, the drug may exist as uh, dissolve, undissolve, unrelease or absorb. So based on these parameters, these compartments are further divided. Moment of the drug between each sub-compartment is described by series of differential equations. In general, the rate of change of dissolved drug concentration in each GI compartment depend on 10 processes. So these 10, ten processes are transit from uh, the from uh, through this uh, series of compartments where uh, there may be uh, dissolution or precipitation or absorption or absorption all these processes can be uh, named as like this so same thing we can show in a uh, this figure like uh, these are the uh, these n compartments from these compartments, uh, the drug may be in unreleased form, undissolved form, then di the dissolved form. So, from the dissolved form of the drug only, it will be absorbed into the enterocytes. 
or it may go back that is absorption also may take place uh, now from the enterocyte it enters into the portal vein then to it goes to the liver then from the liver through the uh, this uh, hepatic artery it goes to the central compartment from central compartment it can move to different peripheral compartments now the time for movement in different uh, these compartments are set by different rate constants these rate constants are like uh, the transfer rate constants the dissolution rate constants the absorption rate constants now this absorption rate constants are further purified by applying some absorption scale factor for each compartment so these are some correction factor the ASF corrects the corrects for changes in permeability due to changes in physiological condition along the GI tract that depends on surface area available for absorption pH or expression of transport or efflux proteins now the uh, models uh, has got some default ASF values and we can select uh, this uh, any one of this ASF value and th these ASF values are further these are uh, uh, calculated based on the log D that is uh, distribution coefficient of the drug so this log D it, it depends on the uh, principle that the ionized fraction of a compound uh, I I when it increases the effective permeability decreases Besides passive absorption, including both transcellular and paracellular routes, the ACAT model also accounts for influx and efflux transport processes and pre systemic metabolism in the gut wall. Luminal degradation rate constants is interpolated from the graph of degradation rate versus pH and P the pH in the compartment. Finally, the rates of absorption and absorption depends on the concentration gradients across the apical and basolateral enterocyte membranes. The total amount of absorbed drug is summed over the integrated amounts being absorbed or absorbed from each absorption or transit compartments. Once the drug passes through the basolateral membrane of enterocytes it reaches the portal vein and liver where it can undergo first pass metabolism Th that same thing we have already seen in the uh, figure from the liver it goes into the systemic circulation from where the ACAT model is connected to either a conventional PK compartment model or a physiologically based PK disposition model. PBPK is an additional feature included in more recent versions of Castro Plus like uh, the 2012 series. This model describes drug distribution in measured tissues which can be treated as either perfusion limited or permeability limited. Each tissue is represented by a single compartment whereas different compartments are linked together by blood circulation. By integrating the key input parameters regarding drug absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion, we can not only estimate drug PK parameters and plasma and tissue concentration time profiles, but also gain a more mechanistic insight into the properties of a compound. Now let us see what are the input parameters. But in uh, this uh, default uh, input parameters are available like transit time, pH, volume, length. Uh, so this we have to select and these are generally estimated from population um, uh, mean values. Means these are certain databases. Then drug physicochemical properties like we have to give input about solubility, permeability, log P, P, K, A, that is uh, the di the dissociation constant partition coefficient, diffusion coefficient. Pharmacokinetic parameters includes the clearance, uh, volume of distribution, percentage of drug excreted in the uh, oral cavity gut or liver, etc.
then some formulation related inputs we have to give like uh, particle size distribution and density drug release profiles for control release formulations given a known solubility at any single pH and drug pK values Castro plus calculates regional solubility based on the fraction of drug ionized at each compartmental pH according to the Henderson Hasselbach relation the program also includes a mean precipitation time to model possible precipitation of fully soluble weak bases when moving from stomach to the small intestine effective permeability value refers to human jejunal permeability however in the absence of the measured value an estimated value derived from in silico prediction tools like the ADMET predictor or in vitro measurements using KECO or pampiasis zercel lines or animal like a rat or dog the studies can be used in the simulation for this purpose we need a uh, converter so to convert the this in vitro data into effective uh, data that is uh, relevant for human in general modeling and simulation start from data collection and continue with parameter optimization and model validation the generated drug specific absorption model can further be utilized in uh, certain these four areas like uh, to understand how formulation parameters or drug physicochemical properties affect the drug pk profile to provide the target in vivo dissolution profile for in vitro in vivo correlation and identification of bioreligion dissolution specification for the formulation of interest to simulate the effect of different dosing regimens to predict food effects on drug pharmacokinetics to perform stochastic simulations on a group of virtual subjects hope uh, these informations will be helpful for your further studies related to in silico models are used for gastrointestinal absorption studies for any queries you can message me directly and uh, any other queries if you have I will be happy to answer thank you